But here come Neef. For them, this is their last chance. If they win here tonight, it will require something very, very special from Flanesli. And only Flanesli can catch Neef if they win here tonight. Time now to join our match commentators. Bill Bennett is alongside Gareth Charles. Thanks very much, Ed. And just look at that popular bank at St Helens. It hasn't been that popular all season. But that shows how important this game is for Neath in particular. Dave Tuetti, the leading try scorer in the Welsh Scottish League. And we've seen him break many a defence this season. And Duncan Jones, a man of the match performance against Pontypridd last weekend. And especially with the injury to Spencer John here over the weekend, the leading candidate to go on the South African tour. Gareth Simmons in charge this evening. And Phil yeah, we were here Saturday as well for Swansea Cardiff. It's a very, very solid pitch to say the least. Uh, whatever else happens, it's going to be quick. It is going to be very, very fast. And I think that the fitter team might win this match, Gar. It's very, very hard. The big hits will be going out there and there'll be some injuries. But the thing about it all, I think, who's the freshest? Who wants it the most? And there's some nervous players out there. And I think this man kicking off Lee Jarvis is the key to Neath's performance. And Swansea have had three good wins in the trot. Should be a cracker. Neath, top of the West Scottish League. A win would put the championship all but in their hands. And Swansea almost safe for that fifth spot. Yeah, which wouldn't at the moment guarantee them a European place. But a win tonight for them would absolutely solidify fifth best in Wales. And after the dreadful season they've had all round, that is something they can be thankful of. And I think the man will be taking this uh, penalty kick, Gavin Henson. He's got a huge task this season uh, tonight. Taking over from Adderwell Thomas. He can be absolutely breathtaking on his day. Hasn't played for a while, so big responsibility on that young man's shoulder. And uh, another change of hairdo for the final home <laughs> appearance of the season. It's uh, nice and sunny, it has been. I'm not sure, quite sure where Jack Frost got to get all of his hair. <laughs> Off the line, Black! Off the line! Get off the line, Black! Untidy line out to start. Although Tyrone Morlin did manage to keep his hand on it. And what a big influence he's been in his couple of seasons down at Swansea. His final game at St Helens this evening. As we already heard. And he and Lee Jones combined well. Salilo Martens, Tapuaya, and as you'd expect, two South Sea Islanders in with a big hit to start with. I think I made a point earlier, Gareth, that the three players will play so well. Martens is leaving, Howell Jenkins is leaving, Morlin is leaving, and they've been outstanding the last three victories. And he's dynamic, he's strong, he's like an extra back row forward, he's looking for contact, and there's a clash, look, two South Sea Island men, bang. And if he's looking for contact, Dave Tuetti is always one man ready and willing to provide it. Stand up, stand up. Hey, stand up. Both the address rooms, and what did we say? Are we all agreed? Hold, please. Hold, engage. Uh, Neath caused Pontypridd's back all kinds of problems last Friday night, but Swansea certainly seemed to get a grip to that first scrum. Yeah, they were magnificent here at Saturday, Saturday against Cardiff. Destroyed Cardiff in the scrum, and as you said, Gar. Potty Peel were at the receiving end of Neath scrimmage in last Friday, so that's a big psychological boost for Swansea. And since Gavin Jenkins returned after man. injury, well, Swansea's back hasn't looked the same. Uh, top man, he, he's, he's a workhorse, he won't leave him to the rest of the scrum, he wants to go forward every time. He's the young seven hero, top man Gavin Jenkins. Yeah, talking to him before the game, he's saying, I'm 35 now. I shouldn't be playing two games in quick succession, but look at him, he's loving it out yeah, there. Yeah, and isn't it great to see him back, because, you know, not a few months ago they were saying that Garden's career might be over because of the shoulder injury. Scrum, going forward, driving forward, getting that little shove there, and there's where the penalty. And what a chance for Garvin Ensign. Garvin Henson hasn't had that many outings of late.
and Nucky striking the outside of the post and then behind the dead ball line but he got the measure of it half a yard and he'd have been safe yeah he'd be a little bit disappointed he plays on confidence and uh, that was a good strike of the ball very unlucky there's another gentleman who i dare say will have a few shots at the post this evening and what a deadly kicker he is that's neat lee jarvis both second rows called for it none of them claimed it and sinkinson and bonner evans give neat ball they might not have expected to get back from the restart is tantalizing the infield forcing kevin morgan to play corner and call so he moves out the way and it's due to kick back to that self same corner Payne just for a moment thinking about the counter attack but then safety first prevails yeah both sides very nervous and it's got to be expected so much on this game so you see a lot of kicking earlier on kicking for position have lost just one of their last 10 league matches and that run is what's brought them up to the top of the league but what's happening behind them well we can see immediately by rejoining graham thomas in the cardiff studio well gareth the tries are coming thick and fast at kafili where clinetli have now up to three tries this was their second the uh, try coming from Lee Davis, his second of the game, the pass inside there from Gareth Bowen. And then a few minutes later, Celesi Finau got in on the act. A nice try this one. Barry Davis into the line from fullback, drew the cover, and then out to Celesi Finau, in over on the left hand side. Converted by Gareth Bowen. It's 19 3 at the moment to Planetti. Three down, 13 to go as far as Lanetti are concerned. We're still waiting for our first try and our first points here at St. Helens. Patrick Hogan. Jarvis. Lovely pass to Sean Thomas. Straight in the gap. Looks outside into Dean Dudney. The pass is behind the winger though. And the chance went begging. Great approach work. But they couldn't finish it off. Oh, they, they'd be so disappointed in that because the running under the passing leading up to the final pass was exceptional. A beautiful break. I think Lee Jarvis floated the long pass out, taking it into midfield, running slightly across, missing the men out, and look at the line of angle by corner. Morgan did well at full back. He backed off, but he should have been in front of him, and I don't think Lima would have got, and Dooney would have been in at the corner. Sean Connor knows it, and that pass been a yard forward. And he knew he would have been in because he had managed to get a meter clear from his marker. It must have been a temptation to come in and make the pass easier for Sean yeah. Connor, but that, of course, would have brought him closer to the cover defence as well. That's right. But what what a surprise in that the Swansea defence normally so good in midfield. This is Mark Taylor tonight, of course, but it was split quite easily there. And down the middle, Connor went with ease. And every time there'll be a chance or half chance, Neath will be wondering, oh, I wonder, if only, if only, but they're just going to stick at it. Yeah, they've got to go there, put that behind them. Garant Lewis, a good line out take. This one's his line out, and has been going pretty well. Towards the end of the season, Martins cannot get away from those knees forward, but he managed to keep it alive. But uh, Swansea were going backwards. Henson's kick. Connor again calls for it. It's the highest of the evening so far. Swansea who are caught offside. With uh, Kerry Evans, the touch judge. Yeah, just having a word with Gareth Simmons. 
people in front of the kicker, putting pressure on Sean Corner. Yeah, that was a good take by, by Howell Jenkins. I don't think he's been trying funny this evening. He'll be looking for those three points early on. And while Lee Jarvis prepares for the kick, we can go back again to Grin Thomas. Well, things not going so well for Cardiff, Gareth, and the man who's done the damage is former Cardiff player Gareth Thomas. He scored his first try after nine minutes, breaking away down the left-hand side. That coming off to Reese Williams' his try, that making it 7 all, And then a great individual effort from Gareth Thomas. He'd run the length of the field, kicked ahead. He got support there from his wing, Richard Musto, took the pass and had enough strength to go over. It's currently 17-10 to bridge end. Thanks, Graham. Lee Jarvis, his first shot at goal. And one you'd expect a kicker of his calibre to get. But the preparations, as minute as ever. Touch judges like it. Referee said no. And although Meath have gone back to halfway, they haven't got three points on the board. And they are astounded by that decision. The two touch judges said yes. The referee said no. And it's a restart from the 22, not yeah. three points. That is incredible because the two touch judges straight away had their flags up. But the referee was in a good position and that took a lot of guts to disallow that. And we'll have a look at that now. I turned it down. When the ball goes out of play next, that is providing one talking point early on. Well, we saw Arwell Thomas not being allowed a conversion here against Cardiff on Saturday when he should have been. So, maybe some through the post here. They can't quite see straight. James's kick. Just a fraction too long, out on the pole. Yeah. We'll have to look at this very, very carefully. There he stroked it. And it's the height, I think, would put it looks in there. Definitely wider the post from here, Gareth. But the touch is just straight away flags up. Good decision, I believe, by Mr. Simmons. Well, not only have to put the missed opportunity for the try behind them, but also that they believe there's three points. Jarvis gets the left. confidence will be rocked by having two uh, the, the penalty and the, the gift try they gave away but this is a bit of magic by Lee Jarvis showing great vision he's not only a kicker chip over the top maybe lucky with a bounce but he deserved luck like that and he's very very pacey nobody's gonna catch him and Neath will have settled down he's celebrating and that's a, a wonderful try for the fly half last year Neath was struggling to put their points over they didn't have a, a man to take the game at fly half he has provided that this year and that will have settled Neath down underneath the post or by the side of the post and they deserve that well Neath will believe that there is some justice after all Jarvis may well keep this one a little bit lower. No doubt at all about that one. Straight down the middle. Jarvis converts his own try and Neath lead by seven points to nil. But a good point, Gareth. He kicks so high, Jarvis, that I think he'll have to be very careful because that penalty went very high over the post, as did Arwells on Saturday. There's with a lucky bounce. Steve Wynn chasing him. Kevin Morgan after him. But once he's got a yard of pace on him, he's one of the fastest men in the Neath squad. Got the luck of the bounce, but he created that luck himself. And the ball is always likely to do something like that on a hard surface like this. So Neath in the driving seat in the league, in the driving seat in the opening stages of this game. Patrick Hogan's kick. Howell Jenkins waits and takes. Bonner Evans with a tackle. And Bonner Evans is one that they've been keeping an eye on as far as possible Wales honours goes. They see him as a ball carrier a la Scott Quinnell. And I wonder, 
how much of an impact Howell Jenkins has made to overtake him possibly in the latter part of this season. Yes, Howell Jenkins at a great end of the season. Of course, he's joining Neath next season, so there'll be huge competition for that number eight spot uh, at the Knoll. But uh, I think a very important man as well. There, the, the kick into the box. Howell Jenkins did very well to take it. Bonner Evans took him low there. There's with the ball, and there's where you say Neath players not staying on their feet. Gareth Waring, one of the culprits. Jones arrives late. And Dana Simmons just making sure that Neath stay the 10 metres back. Jenkins as a ball carrier this time. Bonner Evans and Sinkinson, the double tackle on him. And it's Swansea who give away the penalty. Aren't allowed to take it quickly, so they're up 10 metres. Neath trying to dictate the pace of proceedings as well. I think they believe they've got the fitness of Swansea trying to force the pace of the game and uh, Vogan has come up big decision for Lynn Jones tonight instead of Andy Moore he's trying to play it quickly Howell Jenkins again Bonner Emerson sinks in the back row men and look men not good on it. well Dean Thomas there but there's where he says he's off his feet and gives the penalty Harry Williams working hard to get his hands on that ball and he's trying to get some kind of rolling driving ball going and just about managing to do so, crept into the Swansea 22. Hogan, Sinkinson was just on his elbow, couldn't get the pass in, but he's very determined indeed. Is Pat Hogan, Barry Williams, Jarvis lines up the drop goal. He slots it over. Lee Jarvis and Neath into double figures, and a milestone for Lee Jarvis. He's now beaten Paul Thorburn's record, most number in the points in a season for Neath. Yeah, give the credit to Patrick Hogan. He drove and drove into the heart of the Swansea defence, giving Lee Jarvis all the time in the world. A beautiful drop goal, but the scrum after is great, great credit for his guts and spirit. And there's the curse of Welsh rugby, the kickoffs you know, from the Welsh team down to the club side. That was a comfortable ball to take, no communication, and a, a good attacking position for Swansea. Look, no communication. Is it mine? Is it yours? Who wants it? Off Barry Williams' head. Lynn Jones would be very annoyed with that. That was shambolic in the end. And just needed a word of communication. And that's the Scrum 5 live website address. For any of your thoughts. Uh, there's one controversial penalty. And of course, there's the end of the season. Neath against the big six. Canetti, Cardiff, Newport, still in the hunt. Plenty to talk about. Martin's doing well. Mark Taylor, his first touch since coming on as a replacement for Steve Wynn. He came on when Jarvis was converting his own try earlier. Derek Lewis in midfield. And he has improved as Swansea have improved towards the end of the season as well. Martin's really is not, not for anybody to chase. Comfortable to deal with for Sean Corner. Connor fires it out to Lee Jarvis. Good thinking by the knee fullback. And that has given them another 40, 45 metres downfield rather than having to deal with the line out near their own try line. Yeah, good thinking by the, by the fullback. Got out of Lee, ja uh, Lee Jarvis, and he's a huge kicker of the ball. So 10 0 here for Neath. They've got one try in the bank. Let's keep another eye on what's happening in the following up games by back, going back to Graham Thomas. Well, every try that Neath score, Gareth, of course, means Linnithley have to score yet another one. They're up to four at the moment. The latest one coming from Mark Jones. Moved along the line, a long pass there from uh, Boudia, and it was Mark Jones who went over in the left-hand corner. Interestingly enough, they declined to take that conversion. They, of course, are just tra chasing tries tonight. So, Tanaki know exactly what they have to do. Shunning kicks in the hunt for tries Four for them, but one for Neath as well, remember, this evening. As Brian Lima loses the ball in contact. Mokelutu up to halfway, gets support from Sinkinson. Tremendous support. Great work by the Neath pack. Jarvis, oh, good angle of running as well. But unfortunately for Dave Tuetti, although he created the angle, the pass didn't go to hand. Great back to play. The storming best. Yeah, good forward up here. Mokalutu, Brett Sinkinson, then quick ball out. Unfortunately, the ball knocked on. That's how they like to play the game. No 
and there's Brian Lima going through and once you lose the ball they're looking at counter-attack and this man is very very strong powerful but notice the back row support he's always there Sinkerson to give quality ball to the back to use Aaron James mindful of the bounce and then straight back to Sean Corner the best touch by Ney's ever put in but it's off the park and that's the main thing beneath the regroup in defence and you know Gareth just going back to Caffilly where we've watched some action isn't it amazing we've seen the, the winger scoring tries four tries or whatever so far up at Leicester we never saw the goal ball go past Stephen Joseph play out tries have been a bit of a problem for yeah. the Messi all season Phil but yet when the chips are down when they they've got do to it. do it they can do it exactly Steve Martin just got a hand in on the throw but it's still Swansea ball and it's again Howell Jenkins Henson took it well Taylor Martens good switch to Gibbs Gibbs taking out defenders and Swansea has a penalty and they need it because Henson couldn't Aye. gather the ball yeah, this will be a good chance for Gavin Henson to get some confidence. Simple kick, 22 metres, right in front of the post, and Swansea badly needs the three points. I think a big plus for Swansea, you know, nothing against Steve Wing, Mark Taylor's come on. Why he wasn't playing from the start, I don't know. He rides tackles, he sets Scott, okay. Scott Gibbs up, line, and uh, we see Scott Gibbs charging into Gareth Welling. Whether it's for a high tackle, I don't know, or it could have been for offside. It was a high tackle he gave uh, against Gareth Welling for that arm across the Scott Gibbs but he will be determined not to give any tries away this evening Henson hit the post with his first effort this one half the distance and Swansea get their first points just in the end of the first quarter it's Swansea 3 deep 10 yeah, it's all set up for a, for a, a great match because I think Nice want to play the game at pace. Swansea want to move it, now Mark Taylor's on, they've got the pace behind the scrum as well. So, let's hope it really lives up this billing. Lee <laughs> Jarvis has got all of Nice's points so far. <laughs> One a bit too far though for his forward to chase. Big tire on ball in bags of time. He's given that a real thump. He certainly caught that one well. And then had it bounced the other way rather than infield, it would have been an incredible touch finder as it was it still did the job for Swansea exactly and that's what Arvold Thomas has been doing and Gavin Henson showed that he can do it there corner no angle and that's a good line of position now for Swansea we had an advantage of course with Neath having kicked it in but it is Swansea's throw into the line not because they planned it but they'll take it anyway with Geraint Lewis linking up with Silino Martens Connor Evans tries to turn the man in the tackle and uh, Jim Thomas a little bit anxious to get the ball out of there. Yes, the tackle, no ball, tight going forward, White. Hold there, Black. And this is a great position for Swansea. If they can win quality ball, Owell Jenkins or Geraint Lewis, I think good number eight, and Matt Matens attacking that blind side. Plenty of options open. They split three and three. They go right, Kids with a dummy. Then the, the charge himself. Takes three men with him. Martens, Howell Jenkins, tried to delay it as much as he could. And it almost broke for Sean Payne. Came off Kevin Morgan. And Sean Payne almost to the gift in there. Yeah, great play by Scott Gibbs. He took the ball in the burst, took three or four men out. He's so strong, so powerful. Good time pass there. In back inside from Kevin Morgan. Good initiative, but there's where he dropped it. And that was quite a simple chance, really. Indeed it was, Kevin Morgan did extremely well on that uh, far wing, no room at all to play with, Howell Jenkins had delayed the pass nice before him, Sean Payne couldn't complete it. It'll be a warning to Nico, Swansea have the ability. Especially when they use that narrow side, but Martens is power, Gibbs is power, and as you said, a lovely flick back inside by Kevin Morgan, he's got such players at full back. White ball going forward. 
Probably the outstanding player, Kevin Morgan, for Wales in the Six Nations. And there's your standing player. He had a great season, Kevin Morgan. Pace, vision, everything. And good to see Scott Gibbs put in so much in tonight's match because he has been, for me, the one player who's committed himself 100% to Swansea yeah. this season. Right. Right. The fact that he retired from the international scene and produced his best rugby for the club. Exactly. The manager, Richard Moriarty. Yeah, you know, you've got to ride your luck that a very flat. Will it bounce your way? It's rock hard. We pointed that out back into his hands. And he's not slow, you know, Jarvis. I remember people saying when he was at Cardiff, I think he was about the second fastest player behind Nigel Walker. So not, not short of a yard or two. Good chance you have a Sean Payne to come in the line if they win quality ball. He's ready and waiting. He's using the dummy. Out it comes. Kevin Morgan. Got to get behind his man to get the pass in dry and Lima. And the dust flies up from that dry, hard surface. Hat through, but Swansea have the advantage at the moment. Darren Morris on the switch. Good hands by Payne, and the gap's almost opened up for him. Now it has Payne, Lima in support as well. Good pass from Geraint Lewis. Darren Morris gets in in the corner. Great use of the advantage by Gareth yeah. Simmons and Swansea took full use of that advantage. They kept their heads, they kept the ball in hand, and Darren Morris gets the try that puts them back within striking distance. Uh, there's the Neath for Neath side getting around together. They've been caught with that. An excellent try by Swansea. Patience, keeping ball in hand. Putting it back inside, forwards and backs are there, driving forward. Good run by Sean Payne, dragging men in, and then quality use of that narrow side where the space is. Simple pass, and Dana Morris, you're not going to stop him five meters, no chance. It's not an easy conversion for Gavin Henson, so he is from the touchline. And it just drifts across, dies away, but that has brought Swansea back to life, back within two points. Yeah, lovely passing on that narrow side, Sean Payne created a look, determination, you're not going to stop a big man here, but five or six neat players there, you want to stop Dan Morris. Uh, just a suggestion of the pass back inside, and uh, yeah. Kevin James took it for a second, and Dan Morris knew he could go over there, he'd plough his way over, Kevin James or not. And forward, love that, five metres out on there, you're not going to stop a big man, 19 stone. Neath's early lead, almost clawed back, and Girac Lewis, who's showing up well this evening again, full of rugby. Henson. And a beautifully weighted kick, running away from the Neath defence. That was great tactics for the young stickers. What he's done is put pressure back on Neath and Neath. A lovely way to kick. Okay, it's the Neath throw in, but it's more pressure on Neath. There it is, delicately chipped. A corner trained his very best to cut across there. No chance. It was a lovely kick by Henson. Patrick Hogan. The kick downfield, and it's Brian Lima there to field it. Gerard Lewis with a rip. Martens fires it out to Henson. Change of tactics. The high one straight down the middle, but it's far, far too long. Nobody within 15 meters of Sean Corner. Yeah, that'll be disappointing for the Swansea forwards because they weren't good ball there. Henson all the time they were, but he gave Corner far too much time there. The kick very high, but far too long. In the end, Ben Evans, the tight head, was the first of the chasing pack, but nobody got anywhere near Sean Connor. Plenty of time for him to deal with it. Interesting, Bonner Evans gone to the front to train challenge for that front ball. And at the got in there as well. Oh, that's a, a tough ball. Oh. Ball is forward. Barry Williams hasn't noticed that run down the touchline is in vain because. Gareth Llewellyn's knockdown was knocked forward, said Gareth Simmons. But I showed you some of the pace that Barry Williams has. There was Martens who's not slow after him, and he wasn't making a yard on Barry Williams. Six inches. Barry 
Williams back at least for a second spell. Richmond and Bristol in between. Henson took the tackle that time. It's a free ball and it's Swansea's. Geraint Lewis again breaks the game line, gets behind those Nice defenders. And unfortunately for him, Tyrone Wallin over the top and giving away the penalty. Yeah, good driving by Geraint Lewis and the forwards coming from deep, taking it a pace, but again not staying on their feet, you know. And Hansen's right, that's the bugbear of Welsh rugby. cheer from the crowd as it spirals off Jarvis's boot it's safely out of play though and it gives us the chance to go back to the studio to Graham Thomas well Gareth it's the Gareth Thomas and Reese Williams show at the Arms Park two tries from Gareth Thomas you remember putting Bridge End ahead and then two great tries from Reese Williams look at this pass here from Nick Robinson playing at fullback slips it to Reese Williams goes in for his second try of the evening and then what about this this has to be one of the contenders for try of the season breaking out of defense Williams hacks on and then it's all about pace and determination makes it right in the corner takes a bang for his pains there but a wonderful try from Reese Williams uh, that's some game on there at the arms park and Cardiff with Senecki to come this should be our game live on scrum five live on Friday night Again, lovely work by Kevin Morgan the pass split with no chance for Sean Connor to take advantage because the touch judge has his flag up on the far side of the field. Swansea looking very dangerous. I'm impressed with Kevin Morgan's entries in the line. He's coming in with plenty of pace and creating problems for Neath. He is, we all know the pace he has, as we saw Reese Williams there, but he's looking very dangerous this evening with space on the outside. Mokoletu, he's receiving some treatment and that's the Scrum 5 website address for all your email correspondence. Gareth yeah, Llewellyn, 33 years old, 65 caps for Wales and the experienced team behind as well, Lynn Jones the coach, Roland Phillips is on the bench this evening and he's the under-21s coach at the Knoll. Andrew Millward he caused a lot of problems if it want to breathe he's such an awkward customer for the taller guys to drop against over there. You're not Darren Morris causing him problems this evening yeah very difficult the scrimmage again rated one of the best in Wales you know I have got no clue what goes on in the front row guard but he's got a big reputation amongst the players being a you know hard man so short difficult to scrimmage against this one not dissimilar from the one that Gavin Henson struck the post with very early on in the game. Again, he's hooked it slightly left, but that time inside the post, a lovely kick from Gavin Henson. And for the first time, Swansea are ahead by the narrowest of margins, 11 points to 10. Lovely kick by Gavin Henson. I thought, first of all, he was going to go to the left of the post, but enough draw to bring it back inside. He'll be delighted with that. Catch from Tyrone Morlin. Martens. And Swansea obviously trying to play the game down in Neath's half. They're just trying to push them back. They're not trying to play rugby from everywhere. Kevin Morgan looking for space. First he was impeded as well. It was Patrick Hogan who took the ball on the bounce. And that is enough to win Neath the scrum. Yeah, Kevin Morgan unhappy with that, just a little nudge off the ball, I believe. But the touch is right on the spot there. He didn't put his flag up. But again, another kick and some blood on his head. He's yeah. had a gash there. Looks to have got a cut on the side of his head, Kevin Morgan. Yeah. Nasty gash to the look of it.
Yeah, again, looking for that chip over the top where the bounce can go anywhere. We'll have a look very carefully to see if he's taken out a little bit of an elbow from Sinkerson, but nothing really in that. And I think afterwards he caught Patrick Hogan's elbow as Hogan went for the ball. So the one that caused the damage to the side of the head was purely unintentional from Patrick Hogan. blind side wing but the Swansea back row we're waiting for that one oh lovely angle from Tuetti as well and a beautiful offload as well to Mokalutu over halfway so they've made about seven or eight meters so far from the scrum Tuetti stands up in a tackle Sinkinson is there now they're back to where they started as Dean Thomas puts pressure on Patrick Hogan Barry Williams is standing scrum half Jarvis, well taken by Gavin Henson, Kevin Morgan. Straight to Sean Connor, knows there's no full back there. Yeah, and Lewis have gone back there. He looks for a pinpoint kick into the corner. Lee Jarvis wants it about on the try line. He'll do for it in his lap instead. infield or they're straight out of play a couple of meters from where they kicked yeah but Swansea quite rightly putting the ball deep I think they've got a bit of a breeze behind them in this first half and Lee Jarvis slicing that and you know with about five minutes to go Swansea winning the quality line out here to be very dangerous yes the aerial tennis a little bit inconclusive but Swansea getting territorial advantage out of it Matt Thames with a break straight through the knees line Darren Morris with a pickup Gerard Lewis juggles, but didn't quite manage to control. Yeah, the referee had a long, good look at that. I think he was going to leave it go, and he thought, no, he did inch it forward. So a slight knock on by Gerard Lewis, and he's got such great hands for a back row forward. I think the toe end of the ball yeah. just to touch the floor. <laughs> Big decision by Mr Simmons, then, because if he'd fired the drop goal over, then his fans would have been up in arms. Swansea have certainly come back well in this uh, second quarter because Neath got off to a, a rare old start with those 10 points from Lee Jarvis in the opening 15 minutes. Yeah, shown great pride and courage, Swansea. They're fighting for that fifth spot, they're not giving in, and it's Neath versus Swansea. It's always a battle. Swansea put in a bit of pressure on the scrums. They, we know they've got a very good front row. Something going on there, not very happy. It could be anything that leads away. Jarvis using Duncan Jones this time. And scrag down by Gavin Henson. Uh, there's a few things happening off the ball, and it's still going on. Step away, please. Step away. And Gareth Simmons and right Step there. Away, <laughs> and a few words still going on. Gareth please. Llewellyn. Gareth please. Jenkins. And they've been please. on the scene and they've known and played against each other. <laughs> More years than they care to recall, I dare say. There's the half-time okay? scores. They actually have four tries in their 24-6 lead. Cardiff 27, Bridgen 20. And in the battle for who will join... The Premiers, or who will get in the playoff situation, Pontepool, a handsome lead, 52-14 against Bonamine. Pontepool with a 10-try advantage over Aberavon as well. Aberavon playing Tom D tomorrow night, and then finishing off for the game against Dunvin. By Bonner Evans going up to the front that line to help Gantuel in, leaving a few holes at the back one, but they won the ball well won. Yeah, that time it didn't go forward, and Thuel in is doubly determined after that penalty was given against him. And Kevin James did well to get a hand to it. Jarvis to Etty. Good tackle by Ben Evans. Good quick ball for Neath as well. Jarvis had a little stab again. Looking for the bounce. It is still in field. Dean Dudney got a hand to it. And know this could be dangerous as Sean Payne takes it on for Swansea over halfway. 
They have far more numbers in attack than Neath do in defence. Here they come. Henson tried to do it himself and took the dive as well by the look of it. The Swansea fall, our fans are absolutely incensed. But it didn't seem too bad from where we sat as play continues through Black Brian Lima. Howell Jenkins off Andrew Millwood's year. Well, we saw a lot of mistakes in the game with Swansea Cardiff on Saturday. And we have to be careful, or this one will get away from us again. Yeah, I think the referee having a word with his touch judge, suggesting there was a knock-on or the ball went forward somewhere. But let's have a look very carefully. Gavin Henson going through. Well, took a bit of a dive. Nothing there. I think the forwards were keeping out of the way. And the uh, outside half was looking for three points and a penalty. Well, but it's interesting, Gareth, the touch has just come on the other side. I wonder, did he see, see anything? Well, he'll get 5.8 for technical merit, I think. Penalty over there on the ball. Okay, give me the mark. 12 white, 12 white, 12 white. Well off the ball, well off the ball, okay? Losing your foot on somebody. Don't do it again. You'll be in the bin or you'll be off, okay? Well, it's a warning for Scott Gibbs and uh, Di Williams, the touch judge, who, like the other touch judge, Kerry Evans, on the stand side, and they're both PE teachers in Glantarb School in Cardiff. And look at that crowd over there, Gareth, the bank. Isn't, isn't it great? That's fantastic for me. What This is what Welsh rugby is all about. Packed bank out there. Great to see, the, you know, the atmosphere. Both crowds loving it. Swansea and Neath supporters. And the Neath supporters who'd travelled, hopefully see Neath get one hand on that championship trophy. It'll be a good deal more worried than they were 25 minutes ago. Injury time at the end of the first half. Great take by Sinkinson. Now then, he's trying to get the drive on. Millward is in there, so is Barry Williams. He's in a lot of good close contact with. Has the neat hooker. Mokulutu is the next one. And so Ellen and Howell Jenkins tangling this time. The teammates next year. We'll have to forget about that. I think he'll go for the drop goal and three points just before half time. Jarvis sits back in the pocket, looks for the drop goal. And gets it. So Neath finished as they started by getting down into Swansea territory and getting points on the board thanks to Lee Jarvis. His second drop goal, he's got all their points. And Neath are back in the lead now by 13 points to 11. Yeah, I, I think if he blew the whistle up now, Lynn Jones and Neath would be delighted because they're playing into a bit of a breeze and they'd be delighted to go in on happy 13 points to 11 in the lead. Oh, Brian Lima with the fend off from Gareth Llewellyn. The Swansea crowd at the moment in the stand is spending more time in the feet on their feet than they are in their seats. Yeah, Neath Gwyn from the line now, taking them all in. They're not gaining the ground. They, you know, Lee Jarvis sitting back there, and this is a wonderful drop goal because he's put under pressure. And there it is between the posts. And I, I think we blew now. They'd be very happy to win the lead. Oh, great run from Bonner Evans. The wheel and work his way. Oh, big hit by Brian Lima. Straight into his chest. The Bonner Evans hang on to the ball. And Neath now have a chance to spread it. Story, lovely pass to Dewdney. Dewdney tries to round his man, but a fine tackle oh, from Kevin Morgan. But what a build up to that drive. And Bonner, and Bonner Evans, Evans is still <laughs> flat out after Brian Lima's pole axing tackle. One of the, mo the moment of the match, that for me. Bonner Evans, a huge man, taking the ball at base, and Brian Lima just flattening him with a wonderful tackle. Well, the first half ended on a real high, and it certainly got the fans going. Plenty of talking points there. A lot of talking being done by the forwards of both teams out on the field, and a lot of shouting being done by the fans, particularly Swansea's. But they trail at the interval. It's a try apiece, but the boot of Lee Jarvis, the difference between the two teams, as the referee gets a lot of stick from the Swansea fans as he leaves the fray at half-time with a score. Swansea 11, Neath 13.
Well, it's all very tense, it's all very controversial, but it's also very exciting, and uh, yeah, this will do. Absolutely, I think it's, uh, it's, it's gripping, isn't it? You know, it's sort of uh, very tight. Uh, neat, neat started really well, getting over the game line. Jarvis is controlling things, and then Swansea really hit back at them. It's fascinating. It is fascinating. Plenty to analyse here at St Helens, but what is happening elsewhere? Graham in Cardiff. Well, I promised you tries at the beginning of the programme, Ed, and we haven't been disappointed in the two matches. Nine tries so far in those two games. Let's start with Caffilli. Clinetli going ahead early on. It was a good break down the left. Celesi Finau was involved. Matt Cardi, good to see him fit again. Looked as if he would be going over. Brought down just short. Lee Davis with the first try. That was after 10 minutes. Then Rupert Moon playing his final game for Clinetli tonight. Starting that move. Lee Davis in for his second try. try that just uh, on the 16 minute mark. And then once again down that left wing. This time Barry Davis, the full back into the line, draws the cover. And there's Celesi Finau going over in the corner. The fourth try, Moon again starting the move. The long pass by Lee Davis. Cardi involved again, and this time Mark Jones, the right wing, popping up. That uh, was Tanetli's fourth try. 24-6 to the Scarlets at half time. And uh, a very exciting game also at Cardiff. Bridge End going ahead there with those Gareth Thomas tries. But three tries from Rhys Williams to put Cardiff back in control. Neil Jenkins making the break. Here's the pace from Rhys Williams bursting through. That was his first try coming uh, on the fifth minute mark. And then Jenkins involved again, the long pass. And look at this pass from Nicky Robinson. Slips the ball outside for Rhys Williams playing on the wing tonight goes over for his second try and what about his third the hat-trick clincher from Reese Williams plenty of speed plenty of determination going over for his third try 27 points to 20 the half-time score Cardiff leading at the arms park back to you Ed thank you Graham certain lack of inhibition all round here on this uh and this final week of the Welsh Scottish League, Mike, everybody's been mad out there. Yeah, it's a couple of fantastic tries from Rhys Williams. I just hope he's not hurt because he went into those advertising boards and he looks like he got injured. But great game in the Brewery Field and Plenty scoring tries. OK, 13-11, Neath the lead. They've been playing into the breeze. How have they built up this lead? Well, as usual, well, it's not as usual always, but we've seen Lee Jarvis dominate the scoreboard before. And here he is doing it again. The breakaway try by the outside half, after his own little kick and chase. That's the first try of the game. Then putting over the first of his drop goals, Neath, 10 nil into the lead. Then something of the Swansea fight back. Gavin Henson started it with a penalty. Then they carried on with this sweeping movement, which will come left. So the large figure playing out wide of Darren Morris and he's shown the outside and he says, I'll take it. The penalty by Gavin Henson to put Swansea into the lead. But the final riposte by Neath. Another drop goal by Lee Jarvis. And it's the All Blacks to lead the All Whites by 13 points to 11 at half time. And Mike, some interesting statistics. Yeah, look, Swansea's 63% territory there, but Neath, every time they've gotten up 22, they've uh, they've taken points, haven't they? Uh, possession again, Neath down, but they're up where it matters. Uh, Liners pretty even, uh, penalties even, yeah, so um, everything even except when Neath have got in that 22, they've taken their chances. Yeah. Just interested in uh, in what happened at the scrummage. Um, in, against Pontypris, we saw Neath really get uh, the Pontypris pack in a real tangle. Duncan Jones does just sort of drive across before he gets under um, uh, Duncan Bell. Pontypris were complaining about it, weren't they? Pontypris, well, I don't know if they were complaining, but you just had to take it. Yeah. But I just think today, with Swansea there, with Gavin, Garen Jenkins back in the front row, I think Swansea actually doing a bit of a number on Neath. Yeah. And here we see, that's the Neath pack giving away the first penalty. Yeah, and they're doing them for driving across the face of the scrummage there. But perfect for Gary Jenkins this sort of game, though, isn't he? You would have seen yeah. what Neath done to Pontefreeze on Friday night, and it made sure that Swansea pack were really, really up for it. And I say but because it just seems that Neath, when they do get decent ball, they have been posing more threats, perhaps. Well, well the first, first 20 minutes, especially Jarvis was running the show, and it was uh, there was one lovely move which um, which should have uh, which should have led to a try, really. I think that uh, it's uh, we can see it here, Jarvis 
Watch the pass he fires out. It's all Dave Twent. He comes on a dummy switch, which just checks those Swansea centers. See, they're turned in there. Story comes with a short ball. We run it on. And look at this angle from Sean Connor. He's hit that big gap there. It's been created by that dummy switch. And then Doom Deedney, if this goes in front of him, it's a try. Just overran it a, a couple of yards there. He could have been he could have been stepped back and that was a simple try. Yeah. And, and you just got the feeling there, are they nervous? A great build up, didn't score. But they cut through on that on that on that pass movement and obviously Swansea then think oh dear right we'd better or reorganize the, the, the defense and then Lee Jarvis has his little chip over the top good variety of tactics yeah, and it lets he, he, mixed, the he mixed things very very well in that first 20 minutes I think that he was a he was obviously a little fortunate but hard pitch I think Gareth Charles mentioned it the ball can go anywhere if you watch him here just have a Lee Jarvis here look at Brian Lima here now he sat back there waiting for Jarvis put in the corner the chip goes straight now Lima should be covering here Fair play to Silo Martins, he gets across, but look at Lima, he's too late there, he can't get across. And as the blind side wing, I'm afraid, you know, that's the little chips into the middle, he should be covering those, and I think he'll be disappointed to, uh, to have let Jarvis get away. Yeah, we have had, um, you know, after the Swansea game against Cardiff, it was a sort of catalogue of errors, really. We said it was, you know, something like 50% over the, over the average for the season of error rates. Um, and this game has had quite a lot of errors, but it, it's also had a high degree of excitement. Yeah, some big hits going in, and there's two hugely committed sides there, and they really are slamming into each other. There's turnovers, but there's plenty of uh, plenty of excitement. I think we can see, you know, look at these the hits that are going in here. There's three or four of them there. Mokalet, who picks it up, shows his strength, and again, Neath back row, Sinkinson's there first. But again, the defence is pretty good. And there's a chance on the outside for your Neath, but it just the ball is spilled. And I mean, that's a bit unlucky because it comes off his knees. But the thing about Neath when they get going there, so you so quickly, Gibbs here absolutely runs over Story, I think it was, takes in three or four. This is lovely bit of skill from Kevin Morgan. He knows he's going out, puts it back into pain. And he should have scored, really. That, the ball was there for him to take. It wasn't low, wasn't high. He should have scored. Yeah, there we have it. Swansea did actually get their final sweeping move together, and uh, it came. It led to the Darren Morris try, but it actually came from a line-out, which well, from a scrummage rather, which stretched neat from the very outset. Well, in the in the sort of second period, Swansea started to get some ball. They started to get it wide. When Taylor came on, I thought he made a difference as well. And watch this. It was it was Gibbs Payne. Gennett Lewis who was starting to get over gain lines, and I think it's, uh, it's Sean Payne on this occasion. I mean, the move is going nowhere. Yeah, Neath look comfortable defence, but watch this, Sean Payne. Through one or two tackles there, and Neath have been tackling well, so he's running hard. And I think Kevin James just gets dragged in here, but I think you're right there. He was uh, he was shown the outside, and Kevin James didn't. Uh, and let's be kind to him. He didn't fancy the tackle, but that, he just I think he was looking for the inside ball where he should have gone in for the big head. Well, to be fair, hit. Darren Morris had given he, one inside pass in yeah. that movement, so Kevin James thought he must be better to do it again. But he really should have gone low and hard there and driven him into the touchline, and then he could have saved the try. Uh, you'd have to say it was an unusual trait of Neath to miss a tackle because they, as ever, they just <laughs> swarm over the ball carrier. Well, they're, they're hugely committed and um, I think a lot of credit to Swansea as well. We knew Neath would be committed because they're going for the title. Swansea still haven't got that fifth spot to do it but you know some of their big players who haven't played well this year are really starting to find some form. Coach Lynn Jones with the final words to his Neath team. The floodlights are on here at St Helens. It is a bit gloomy. I'm just trying to look for a flag to say to see if this wind has dropped or, or gone up. Players back out on the field. Let's join the commentary team for a minute, Gareth Charles. Thanks, Ed. Well, a little life in that flag. It was favouring Swansea slightly in the first half, so Neath will have a little bit of an advantage in the second. There's no life in that flag. There's plenty of life left in this game. 40 minutes between Neath and the possible championship. Not that it will be decided definitely tonight if the Nettie win, and they're on the road to doing that. Leading at half time. Looking go, 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 go. Build on that lead. And take the title back to the null. Swansea showed in that first half. Exactly what they can do. As they have done over these last three or four games in turning around what was otherwise a dreadfully disappointing season. Again, slightly aimless kicking, which has been one feature of this game. And Sean Payne do, had to do well to avoid the crouching Celino Martens and stay in his feet. Martens with a flick to the blind side again, Lewis. 
rather tentative start to the second half. There's acres of space out wide, and that's where Lee Jarvis is aiming. Dean Dudley is flying up that wing. And Kevin Morgan covered all the time. Yeah, there's some poor kicking there from both men, but Lee Jarvis spotted the space in there. A lovely kick right into the corner, and we know the piece will compete into this line out. As a look all the time they were and look at the space there Dutney had spotted that space and he was playing up there the ball going in into touch just about into the corner just what needs wanted and they'll really i think they'll really contest these lines Dean Dutney, half a dozen tries in the short time that he's been at least and he's on his way to cardiff next season and that one wasn't straight because they'll have a put into a scrum five. Yeah, vital throw in by Garden Jenkins. I can see that it's miles not straight. And this could be a vital scrum. Good scrum. Probably Bonnet Evans picking up and driving. Great position for Neath to attack from, but their scrum very much disrupted, allowing Celilo Martins and then the back row to get in on Nathan oh. Bonner Evans and winning the put in for themselves. And that's when you earn your bread, your front five. You know, you can talk all about the stars in the world, but that destroyed the scrum. Uh, great scrummaging by the Swansea forward. There's the man in the middle, Gannon Jenkins. He's always involved. Crouch, engage. Sorry, He's such a big influence on proceedings. Gannon Jenkins. And it's allowed Gavin Henson enough time just to get that ball clear from the try line and over the touch line. And it'll allow us just enough time as well. You can see what's happening in the other games by going back to Cardiff to Graham Thomas. Well, Tlaitli certainly haven't given up this title race. They're through to um, five, five tries, in fact, now. They're up. Chris Wyatt with the latest try. Tlaitli mean business. They've sent on Stephen Jones at half-time. It was his pass inside to Wyatt. The fifth try coming there for Tlaitli. That uh, means they're 11 tries now behind Nice and they perhaps can give themselves a target if they get up to double figures tonight. That's great. Now, Neath out there at the moment won't be aware of that, but they won't mind anyway. It's not really for them to have anything to do with the, however many tries to net these score. They've just got to win this game. That's all they'll be thinking of. Jarvis again standing back in the pocket. Well, this is some effort, and he didn't really catch it. He snatched at that one, and he was never really going to trouble the posts from the moment it left his boot. Well, he's very confident. The breeze behind him, I think anywhere 40, 50 metres. If the ball is slow, he'll go for the drop goal. Well, we saw from the statistics earlier that uh, Swansea had just about two-thirds of the first half, and perhaps that breeze in their favour had something to do with that. He's looking to play their game now, just down in Swansea's half. The, the bounce favouring Gavin Henson from that restart. It turned at right angles away from Gavin James. Yes, but really, Gareth, you know, there should be neat players there taking that ball again. One of the poor aspects of tonight's play is being taken off the restarts. He's a good-looking man. <laughs> Doesn't get any easier, does it, Gavin? Uh, tough, tough on break. Well, it was meant for Thuellen, but it's one against the throw for Swansea to use. Taylor, Sean Payne at pace. Story and Tuetti together. And that's well protected ball. Gerang Lewis into the arms of Mokilutu. Ben Evans up there in support as well. Evidence is going to be walking the Great Wall of China next month. I thought that after a season like this, they want as much rest as possible. The speculative hat on from Howard Jenkins almost worked out in his favour, but now Sean Connor can set up the counter. Story looks around, sees nobody else in support, looks for his forwards. Untidy ball, and Sean Connor that time just settling. Full kick downfield. Payne keeps it alive though. Into Kevin Morgan. And again, the kicking rather ill directed. So is that one. Straight down the throat of Gavin Henson. <laughs> well, this is real aerial tennis being played here.
just a change of tactic. Nice to see someone keeping ball in hand rather than just tempting it away to the opposition. Big oh, ripping by Mokilutu. He really did well there. Jarvis into space this time. Getting Morgan back there. Morgan goes the long way round, but the referee was playing a long, long advantage anyway for Neath. Martens, one of the strongest men in rugby, leave alone a scrum half. Look at number six, Mogaletu, grasping for the ball, grappling for it, showing his upper body strength, ripping the ball off him. Fantastic play by the Neath Blanca. Uh, the determination of the whole Neath pack there, because I think Brett Thinkinson was holding the scrum half off his feet, so he couldn't get any purchase on it. Gareth Tewellin was in there as well, and then the job completed by Mokilutu, ripping the ball away from Martens. With, with Andy Moore out injured, you know, if Ants is looking for all heads to go to, there's a guy we haven't seen enough of. Shane Williams, will he bring him on in the second half later on to this pace? And he's had all kinds of injuries all through the season. And I think we'll see from, the, from this kick, uh, the breeze, it's not a huge breeze, but it is, you know, quite strong out there. And we'll see the, the length and the height that Lee Jarvis gets on this kick. And the kick. Distance is almost 48 meters, taking the angle into account. <laughs> Jarvis. First of all, getting a lot of stick from the supporters who thought he was taking too much time, but he's got a minute, and Gareth Simmons would have been keeping an eye on the clock and then not really striking the ball anywhere near as cleanly as we know he can no he'll be a bit disappointed with that would have loved to put me you know oh further God. ahead didn't strike it from the moment he hit the ball never gonna go over Morgan sweeping it out to Mokalutu. Ten meter line. Again, it's Sean Connor with the kick forward. And again, it's not precise enough to put any pressure on. That's better than Kevin Morgan. Thank goodness for it. Thank goodness for a good kick from Kevin Morgan. The kicking in the second half has been particularly poor. Just aerial kicking back to each other. Not some. Not a good deal of thinking about it. Played in the second half, and we can go pitch side to Stuart Davis. Passing that's starting with Lynn, Co Lynn Jones, meets coach. Lynn, is it a game you're able to enjoy as competitive as it is? No, not really. No, we're uh, we're under pressure to scrum. We're not winning the king kicking battle at the moment, and uh, we're not putting much together, unfortunately. And Stones are very physical, so it's it's going to take a big big performance from us and a bit of luck to uh, to get the victory we require. And, um, yeah, we're going to stick at it, we're away from home and uh, we get people the holes to open and Shane Williams will be going on shortly and, um, oh God, look at that. <laughs> we've seen a lot of aimless kicking, but you've seen lots of uh, lots of effort and, and heart from your side as well. Yeah, there is, isn't it? You know, because of the pressure up front, we don't get into the right position to be able to to, uh, to put the big tackles in and unfortunately, so look at the cheap shots again, they're everywhere. Um, here we go. All right, Lynn, thanks very much. Back to you, Gareth. Thanks, Stuart. Indeed, nobody's winning the kicking battle. It's particularly bad at the moment as Swansea looks to get something together. Steve Martin is still out injured for Neath, so they're one man short. And Swansea get into the Neath 22. Mark Taylor takes it up. There were numbers on the outside. Neath try and spread the defence as best they can. Swansea have an advantage. They have possession as well. Gibbs the chip over the top. With plenty of defenders back for Neath and uh, Gareth Simmons. And I think that Scott Gibbs knew that the referee's whistle was coming. The referee's arm is indicating that Swans would have had the penalty anyway. I just want to tell him, just telling him, why are you chipping the ball ahead? We wrote here on the wing. Keep it, keep ball in hand. But good pressure played by Swans. He forwards, backs him all, and one lovely flick pass by Ben Evans. 
look at this there. There's where. Yeah, dangerous play by Kiweki. Boots go near Mark Taylor's head, which is very, very dangerous. I don't think he made contact, but he wasn't far away. Well, it is very, very tough, very physical out there. I think, we, I think we can gauge the, the contest it is that Lynn Jones, normally so buoyant, so happy, he's very, very nervous, you know, and, he, and he's saying he's got his smack on, the set pieces, and, he's, and again, a bit of hiding from Swansea. Now, the Swansea forwards have no doubt at all that Gavin Henson is going to put this one over because they've already gone back to their own half. They'll have a little 30 metre jogger field, should he happen to miss it, but he shouldn't. Less than 14 metres, straight in front. Lynn Jones ready to ring the changes. Gavin Henson puts over his third penalty and puts Swansea back ahead. A dozen minutes gone, it's Swansea 14, need 13. We can go straight back to the studios in Cardiff to find what's happening in the other games. Graham Thomas. Well, Lynn Jones' nerve endings will be a little bit more frayed when he discovers that Tanetli are still piling up the tries at Caffilly. A little bit of luck here with their sixth try. A couple of fortunate pieces of footwork. But Barry Davis going through their sixth try. Tanetli lead 34 points to six. Thanks, Graham. So six tries to one. That's put the deficit by five. There's the new men for Heath. That's one of them. Andy Moore wearing 18. Just behind his forwards. And the other one who's involved in the tackle is little Shane Williams who's wearing 16. Believe it, believe it. And kicked this time. Rather than being too short as all the others have been. It's too long. Yeah, and the new kicking game hasn't been good in the second half. They're struggling the set piece up front. They brought Andy Moore on to sort of solidify things, you know, he's had a great season. And Lynn Jones will be looking for a bit of influence from number 19, Andy Moore, number 18, Andy Moore. Let's have a look here. Oh, there, good lad, close white engaged. Good to see Point Shane on. Williams back on the rugby field. Only played eight games in the league the whole of this season. This is something passing from Swansea. Broke kindly for them, and Brian Lima the Swansea as well since signing them showing the strength there that's what they brought him for four right four right come here come away come away four right calm down calm down calm down calm down four right come here please you join your right quiet please when you join your right please open yourself up to bind on him don't come in close shoulders like that into him okay now Timmons just making it clear to Tyrone Morlin that if he wants to clear men out of the ruck area, then he needs to hang on to somebody, open his arm out rather than just diving in the shoulder. Some big hits going in there, and there's where Morley number four came in, and the referee quite rightly said, no coming in with your shoulder bunched and taking men off the ball. Good line out ball, Tom Cowellin, to empty on the flat from Andy Moore. Moore to Barry Williams this time again. Jarvis is lying deep, ready for the drop goal chance should it come. And this could be it. It's a hat with the drop goals for Lee Jarvis. That's 15 in the league for the season. And again, it's the boot of Lee Jarvis that's inching me towards the title. Yeah, anything to win the game will count. Some good play there. Giving him all the time again, and he struck it beautifully. And he will be quite happy to drop goals all in as long as they win this match. Llewellyn so got hands on the restart. Offside. Claim Swansea as Neath retook the ball. Makalutu. And Neath will settle for a scrum from there. I'm sure there must be plenty of things you want to get off your chest in this, the final league week of the season. And a couple of cups to come up as well. Slesley against pont de in the Principality and pont de against Sale in the Park of Penn 
shield final. Back to the mark, please. First reset, boys, keep square. Alan keep Batesman, fighting. tremendous experience on the bench. He's going to make way for James Story and Dave Tuetti at this head to partnership that has come to the fore for me this season. Great control from Nathan Bonner Evans. Oh, 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 oh. Black broke up and into your own man. Accidental offside. It's an accidental there, offside that's given, yep. and that'll give Swansea the put in. Yeah, I need to be disappointed there because they've gone to Jarvis. Clear downfield now, a great chance for Swansea. And there is space in the outside guard. The interesting as well. You see the attack Shane Williams well played a lot of rugby. Swansea lying deep but not getting the chance. Uh, Paul Moriarty would be annoyed with his forwards for messing that up. One game short of 300 appearances for Swansea, Paul Moriarty. And that's fantastic, isn't it? I wonder if he was tempted to put himself on the bench tonight <laughs> for one, one last ball. What do you think? He went rugby league as well, Gareth. Still 300 appearances. Great servant for Swansea. And also great to, to read, uh, I hope it's right, that he and Tony Clement are going to be part of the new coaching scheme with John Connolly comes uh, to Swansea. Lynn Jones, who would have faced Paul Moriarty on one or two occasions in the back row duels between Neath and Swansea. And that's someone you'd have come up against once or twice, Phil Richard Moriarty. Chased me a few times, never caught me, got. <laughs> <laughs> so frightened, my, frightened me to death. But uh, again, again, another great servant for Swansea. You've been there about 15 seasons as a player. I know you know the director of rugby. Yeah, it's safe to say that from the stand, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's better control scrum. And that does give Jarvis the chance to work that far touch line. No, still in field. Kevin Morgan has got it first. Nobody wanted it. Randy Moore did well. Did really well. Oh, so did Shane Williams. Oh, great running. Gets the support he deserves from Brett Sinkinson. Jarvis for the corner again. Now then, no flyer out on the left though. It's Gary Lewis who got back there and Gavin Henson. And it's Jarvis himself who follows up. Oh, cool play under pressure. Lovely play from Gavin Henson. A bit too audacious in the end, perhaps. Uh, that is the man. Bags of talent. But sometimes maybe overdoes it a little bit. Two bits of magic from Shane Williams out of his own 22. Wonderful play. And then Henson on his own line. Fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant. I was wondering, is his armstring okay? I thought he'd kick this. Just look at this man. He brings you off your seat every time. Sidestep in, off his left foot. So exciting. Adds a lot to the game. Use it, use it. And there's the problem here. The, the scrum. They can't get a good platform for their back row to attack. And, and this is magic for me. Look, under pressure from Jarvis. You'd think he'd kick it anywhere from there. Bit of a dummy, so cocky, leaves a few men dead. Well, that's what the game has been crying out for. And Shane Williams tries to add a further little bit of magic in keeping it alive. Now then. Did he get a touch? Which, which side of the touchline were his fingers? Yeah. They were yeah. over the touchline. So not very happy with that. This is it. A guy in Jenkins is saying to the touch judge, are you from Neath or is he, <laughs> he's certainly talking to him as he does non-stop. But great to see him back in Welsh rugby. Into the final quarter of the match. Neath just ahead, 16 points to 14. Good play by Barry Williams and Gareth Thuellen together. Jarvis gone for height that time. Hands in the air, well taken by Sean Payne. I think he was aware that he maybe may have taken it back into his own 22. Sean Connor had a stretch for that one. Oh, but again, that's a very disappointing kick. Henson and soccer skills first. And then Lima. <laughs> he really is a strong man on the wing. Brian Lima. Samuel. Attends to Henson. Knows there's a big, big gap there. And again, judged it expertly. And again, Neath 
aware they have to keep that try line clear they want to keep Swansea away from there here they come again the all white Sean Payne Sinkinson wraps himself around him good support from Darren Morris and that means it's Swansea's ball a man on the spare they move it quickly got it Morgan and they link up with him Brian Lima the first of those Lima through the gap Lima still going Connor drags him down the ball placed back perfectly Lee Jones with a pick up and drive that's the neat try line in the background Swansea half a dozen metres short the ball not coming back into the and didn't get to ground either and that's why Neath had the scrum and you know that all started with a poor kick from corner you know right into the Swansea player they count the attack here they count in attack he's a big strong man his Brian Lima gets away from the tackles he's so powerful in there setting up trying to set up good quality ball for his backs very powerful winger Brian Lima There's an injury at the moment, so that means we can go back to Cardiff for the latest in the other matches. Grim Thomas. Well, Gareth Lynettley are continuing to eat away at that advantage in tries which Neath have. They scored their seventh try through Mark Jones. It was young Mike Phillips, the young scrum half, who'd come on as a replacement, making the break. Through to Jones, he went over for his second try. And then uh, Caffilly were on the attack. It looked as if they might score at one moment, but Chris Wyatt stretched out those long arms, took the interception, and he ran all the way from his own half to under the posts. That was Lynethley's eighth try. Wyatt deciding to convert that one himself, and Mark Jones then went in for try number nine just a few moments ago. The pass from Martin Madden. Lynethley up to nine tries. That means they're currently eight behind Neath. Thanks, Graham. So, Sinetti halfway there. And they play in Cardiff on Friday night. That's the live match here on BBC Scrum 5 Live. Scott Gibbs goes the long way round. Oh, what a collision. And I think it's the neat captain, Gareth Dwellin, who felt the front of that run as Kevin Morgan keeps it alive again. Stay, stay. That was a huge hit by Scott Gibbs. I think Gareth Morgan was wide open, and I think he's been badly hurt from the neck and shoulder area. Nothing vicious in the tackle, just a first look at his shoulder charge. I don't think Gareth Llewellyn's positioning was all that great, but I just hope he's not hurt badly. There's the crash. Straight look, he goes straight for his neck and head, head area. Such a powerful man. In goes the shoulder, catches him with the side of the head, bang against the deck, a hard ground. Let's hope that he's okay, but they call immediately for the doctor. That was some collision, and Gareth Llewellyn has come out very much second best. And who said that uh, some people say that Neath only to turn up here tonight to win this title? Swansea are playing with huge pride out there. It's Roland Phillips, who's just come on as a replacement above Gareth Llewellyn there, looking on. As you'd expect, with an anxious look on his face. Yeah, he is at a good match night, Bonner Evans, strong man, but he is off, you know, replaced by Roland Phillips. A lot of men taking big bumps out there tonight. And he has uh, had a groin problem for a lot of the season, Nathan Bonner Evans. And he looked to be in trouble again. I think Swansea have become a little bit stronger this last five or ten minutes, and there's a very worried man. He is captain injured, and Swansea are on top at the moment. Four replacements used so far by Neath. Shane Williams and Andy Moore behind. Adam Jones and Roland Phillips up front. And you can bet your bottom dollar that Gareth Irwin won't want to leave this field until he hears that final whistle. Uh, that's great to see because when he went down, I thought it was something serious. They called him in the assembly. Doctor, come on. Great to see the skipper up. Okay. But Swan's here on top at the moment. He'll be feeling the effects of that injury as he packs down there. There's that scrum again, you know. And if he's got the shoulder and neck injury, how much weight can he put in to push in the second hole? And that's an area where Swansea are really dominant in tonight. And that pressure from the Swansea scrum getting them 
to put in this time. And that's a rock-solid scrum for Swansea. Martens, again, using Lima as the tough, fast man behind. Plenty of runners coming out of that one. Gerard Lewis is the first run there. Five metres from the try line. Martens to Henson. He's gone for the drop goal. And he's got it. And Swansea have edged back in front. Ernie still have a big fight on their hands to try and get this championship. Good tactics by Swansea. Driving in the big... big Big winger driving in, and then the other back row driving in, and Henson dropping the goal. 17-16, Swansea. Pitch side is Stuart Davis. Yes, I'm joined by Paul Moriarty, joint coach here at Swansea. Paul, the intensity of this game, you'd think it was a title chase for, for both sides. Thank you, this has been a superb game of rugby. You know, you've got to stand up to the when they come, and, uh, you know, they're an aggressive, intimidating type of side, and we stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, and... Uh, you know, it's been a fantastic game. It's one or two refereeing decisions I'm not uh, too happy about, but I tell you what, this is massive, massive commitment from Swansea's eight tonight. Let's give you tremendous pleasure as a coach when you see that coming from the guys. Oh, it is, Stuart, and it, it just makes what happened mid-season a little bit disappointing. But we have, we've really punted up now the last six, seven weeks. I'll leave you biting your nails for the last 15 minutes, Paul. Cheers, Stuart. That's Paul Moriarty, former back row colleague of Stuart Davis, and now assistant coach or joint coach here with Anthony Clement and that has been a big big lift to his Swansea team that drop goal from Gavin Henson they've had Neath under some pressure for the last few minutes and the crowd as well are really geeing up this Swansea yeah, side before the game we heard Lynn Jones saying that perhaps uh, Neath would be fresher and fitter but Swansea are certainly stronger at the moment Pat dominating things in scrums and turnover and a lovely kick by Henson Two-thirds just about to the territory for Swansea. Is all they have as far as lead goes with a dozen minutes left to play. Igor has a look to see where his half-back partner is, then to see where the Swansea defence is. But his forwards do the job for him. You know, offside, knocking into different player. Things not good, Swansea's way. Will they drive again, Guard? Go towards those posts. Henson pop another drop goal over. Victory is everything for both sides tonight. Swansea rule. Well, a lot of the kicking out of hand has been pretty aimless, but the kicking for goal has been crucial. Three yeah. drop goals for Lee Jarvis. Three penalties and a drop goal for Gavin Henson. And I think the big plus for Swansea, because their front five are so strong in the scrums, is giving Owell Jenkins that platform and Martens to drive you as Andy Moore saying to his forwards, come on, you've got to give us, get down there. And I think Neath will be quite happy to drop a goal to win this game. But at the moment, Swansea is certainly stronger than Neath. Senesi, Cardiff and Newport all licking their lips at the prospect of keeping the title race alive until the very last weekend of the season. And while they're licking their lips, Neath are biting their nails. <laughs> Lima again from that blindside wing. He's taking out the heart of the Neath defence, which gives Swansea the spaces out wide. Jenkins, again, big hit on him, but the ball made available on the 22. Lee Jones is the one who picked it up under Sidney Lamart Henson's nose. And where's Henson got? In the pocket. Henson lying deep. Martens finds Henson. He goes to the drop goal. Charged down by Barry Williams. Sinkinson right up there, but couldn't gather. The grubber from Kevin Morgan. And Sean Connor can't hold it either. But that's always the trouble if you are going to go for drop goals. You never know, if you don't strike it cleanly, what could be the outcome? Yeah, there was good pressure on Henson there. He didn't have a lot of time, good charge down. The forwards worked very, very hard. Swansea had driven in. There he's sitting back, looking for the three points. Couldn't quite see who it was, but it was a good effort to get down and charge that ball. Barry Williams hooker working very hard. Jenkins with a pick-up. Matt Hens this time with the run. Sinkinson is going through an awful lot of tackling. 
he's got to as Swansea put Neath under the cosh again Lima a scrum half well uh, Rex Arm has gone both ways first he went to Neath then to Swansea Swansea have the advantage as Henson goes for another drop goal and he gets it and that could be absolutely crucial not just for the game but for the whole fate of the Welsh Scottish League yeah, I said drop goal, so my other side would win it. And Henson quite happy, and he stroked that quite, you know, we praise in Lee Jarvis, but the young flyer hasn't played a lot of rugby. Ah, oh, glorious effort, and Swansea with the forwards dominated right on top. That's 15 points for Gavin Henson. And now Neath have to score a try or get two kicks to get back ahead. And Swansea have been turning the screw in this final quarter. He's on the wrong side, man. Very interesting to see now. He just can't go for drop goals. They've got to go for points. Perhaps we'll see the ball be floated out wide with Story and Co. But at the, the first thing is they've got to win this quality ball at the scrum. Shane Williams in the back division, and lying nice and deep, but can they win that quality ball? It's a better scrum. Well, it was a better was. scrum, but it didn't work out between Roland Phillips and Andy Moore. But Phillips recovers well. Moore with a chip for the corner, chases it himself. Kevin Morgan across there, and good pressure from Andy Moore. He's had a great season for Neath. And he was disappointed to be left out in the first place. And wouldn't he love to turn the tide now? Because he did very well there, because he didn't have Shane Williams to chase that ball. He was in midfield, worked very, very hard for Kevin Morgan under pressure. Surely he's can, I've got to win quality ball and use their backs here. Shane Williams coming in either to attack or as a decoy. Including injury, you've got. Okay, fine, thanks. Referee making absolutely certain of the time left. Website address seven minutes plus injury time left. Yeah. There's half an hour of the program left to get your thoughts on uh, Swansea. And the game yeah. beginning to fall apart a little bit from Neath the scrum under pressure. And they're normally so good at the line out. Swansea ripping the ball, winning that ball at the line out. This is going to take a massive effort for Neath to get back into this game. It certainly is. Seven minutes to get a try or get two kicks of whatever description is that a Will Jenkins and he's joining his next season Gareth yeah. but he's given one outstanding performance here tonight that's the commitment from all the players yeah he's been beset by injuries for a long time but he's at a storming end of the season, Howell Jenkins. And Shane Williams, another one who's back after a series of injuries. Somehow, Neath scramble it back via Steve Martin and Roland Phillips. Andy Moore putting pressure on again. Shane Williams there to chase this one, and he does extremely well. Gareth Tawellin up in support as well. Steve Martin eventually taking hold of it and getting it away to Motalutu. 10 metres outside the Swansea 22. Moore, Jarvis, Tuwekti, Tuwekti almost breaking through. Martens with a tackle on him. There's the ball. And it's Kevin James leaving it for Andy Moore. Story, the gap is there. Moore to Jarvis. Jarvis follows it himself. Was he impeded? This is a tough call for Gareth Simmons. And he says, no, he took a dive. You know, in soccer, when you take a dive, you get a yellow card or you're off. And I, I thought perhaps it was the right option, maybe. Good play by he's keeping the ball. Look at that flick pass from Andy Moore. Took it there. Uh, definite dive there from Lee Jarvis. And Kevin Morgan didn't too make too much effort to get out of his way. But yep. Lee Jarvis made a real meal of it in the end. And this will be a long kick again, trying to peg Neath back. It was almost there for Neath. That is all they need, though. Five minutes plus injury time remaining. And Swansea still have that four-point lead. Jarvis just looking for a position downfield now. Not a good kick, though, is it? Giving Swansea all the time in the world to take it back. A 
was a good effort. Now well, Jenkins is getting some kicking practice in beforehand. And it certainly came in handy with that one. And I'm watching the needs forward trudge back there. They were expected a little bit better from Jarvis to either put that right into the corner, put a touch, instead of that, they're back on the halfway line. This and this one's you know, you know we, we thought there'd be many more needs to this year, but a white setup for this as well. But it's a very nervous time for Lynn Jones and Kevin George in the coaching That's staff straight, we saw then. And the throw not straight either, and things aren't going neat sweet. That's where the tension, the pressure, Barry Williams normally just finds his man perfectly, that little one going astray, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Neath put this into the, uh, Swansea put this into the corner. Henson. Ah! Oh, good take by Sean Connor. And he called for the clean catch as yeah, well. I think you'll go from here if you get any if you can get anybody behind him to run it. They've got to take chances. Yes, they've got to go. That's infield again though. And Neath's kicking game has let them down when it counted in the crucial match of the season. That's all right, the king of Kevin Morgan. And it's given Swansea the chance. Sean Payne. Payne for the corner. Great tackle by Shane Williams and Roland Phillips. Brilliant support to get the possession back on the east side. Great defending, but it's not over yet. They're living dangerously on their own try line as Swansea storm forward. They go to the narrow side and Jarvis is here and kick. And Swansea had crept up and Neath will have a second bite to clear at will. You're, qu you're quite right, some of the kicking hasn't been great there. Under tremendous pressure, with Sean Payne going on the outside. Great tackle by Shane Williams, but it was also wonderful work by that man, Roland Phillips. Look at him there, ripping the ball away. First man there, maybe getting on in years, but he knows how to read the game. I was surprised, yeah, as we go in, I was surprised when Sh Connor marked that. I thought, run it, you've got nothing to lose. But he went to Jarvis, again a poor kick, which allowed Swansea to pump it back downfield. I think I'm right in saying, Phil, that if Neath lose this one, then the way things stand, that's it. They're out of the race. They did. I think they are because, and also... Because Tenetti or Cardiff will overtake them on Friday night. Yeah, I think you're right, Gareth. And what an occasion that will be, you know. Uh, so the season goes on and on, but there's, uh, what, two or three minutes left? That is assuming, of course, that both Tenetti and Cardiff win tonight. Yeah. Jarvis puts them downfield and he'll have a new hooker, Steve Jones, to throw into this lineout. He's just come on for Barry Williams, but it'll be a real get out of jail for Neath now. And Lynn Jones just having a word with Ken Braxton, the fourth official. And he is living on the edge at the moment. You can see time slipping away, you can see the championship slipping away from Neath. Steve Jones drives up to Etty, the tackle by Lima and Swansea and not letting up. Story trying to play sevens with it and trying to create something. Kevin James, but they're being pinned oh, down and oh. pinned down by Swansea. That was a bit late on Connor. The turnover ball is Swansea's anyway, and they can absolutely wrap it up from here. Geraint Lewis, Lewis tries to do it himself, there's a big gap there, Andy Moore back though, to save Neath that time. Great, great awareness team. by Geraint Lewis, but Andy Moore with brilliant covering. Spot on, two great bits of vision, first Lewis over the top, here we go. Jarvis, his kick is long downfield, we're into injury time. And before play continues, we can find out who's going to be awarded the man of the match. That decision lies with Mike Hall. Yeah, I think Jarvis and Sinkinson have played really well for Neath, but uh, for me, one of the unsung heroes of Swansea, Gannon Jenkins, is the, is the man who's galvanised that front five and made Swansea play well again. So Gannon Jenkins is the, uh, is the man of the match for Swansea this evening. There he is, Swansea hooker. 
58 times capped by Wales and he's still leading by example he's won the man of the match award won't be happy with that throw though but it's given Leith the lifeline possibly his opposite number Gareth Thuel in taking back it comes but they have to score a try kicks won't do the little hack on came from Shane Williams because he had to the pass wasn't at hand and a lot of stuff happening off the ball and it's James Storey whose tackle came in late who's being picked out and James Storey will see a card of some description and that's the end of the game for me for Nice because they've never really threatened in the second half and losing your probably your best attacking centre that's it game the, set a match I think to Swansea the frustration felt by Neath shown by James Storey whose late tackle on Kevin Morgan has cost him 10 minutes in the bin and it means Nice will finish with 14 men and they'll put this into the corner keep it safe win the line out drive keep it nice and safe Great kick by Henson. Great kick. This will be a take, drive, keep it safe. Maybe another drop goal if they go to the, towards the middle of the post. I think he's seen his championship ever away from him here with a fantastic performance by Swansea. Jenkins tries his best to keep it in field. This has got to be a long throw, that got to be a long throw. Andy Moore knows exactly what they have to do. They have to run the ball. The two and a half minutes into injury time, precious little time left for Nice, and they have to score somehow from their own try line. Tuetti goes for the chip and chase. Motelutu gets ball in hand. Nice have to score from here to save the championship. Tuetti again brought down that time by Dean Thomas. They're struggling to get out of their 22. And they've knocked on. And let's not forget they were without Story, one of their best attacking backs. That's it. All over. That's it. It's Swansea who are celebrating. Four wins at the end of the season for them. We'll get them the fifth place. Fifth place and a possible place in Europe. But it's massive, massive disappointment for Neath. It looks as though they've fallen at the final hurdle. They gave it their best shot. A win would have given them almost certainly the championship. But defeat means that they now are out of the race. The championship looks as though it's been snatched out of their grasp in the very last game of the season. And having done so well all through the season, it's a massive disappointment for Neath. They came so close. They led for long periods of the game. But ultimately, they lost out to one score. And it looks as though that result and other results tonight have robbed Neath of a chance to be champions. It's Swansea 20, Neath 16. We can go immediately for some end of the match reaction to our reporter pitch side, Stuart Davis. Thanks very much, Gareth. Well, the way the Swansea boys have reacted, you swear it was they that had won the league. I'm joined by one of the main men, Garin Jenkins. Garin, what a game. Yes, Stuart, yeah. He's going for the title. But there we go. We got a lot of pride in Swansea. And that was a good victory for all the hard work, for all the boys. And Paul and all the boys, and you know, honesty always prevails. And I think we took them on tonight, and we beat them. And great. And uh, good luck for Cardiff and Newport now for the title. And for Neffy, well, Neath are not going to win it, so we'll stop them. So good luck to the others. Yeah, well, go, go. You, you, you played your role, mate. You've uh, everyone that's come here in the last few weeks. They've had to work hard against a much improved Swansea side, and a lot's been said about the. The return to form of Garden Jenkins coinciding with the return to form of Swansea. What do you say about that, mate? Oh, no, Stuart, it's a collective effort and the work from everybody, you know, where everybody had written us off. We haven't won nothing, but at the end of the day, we just showed when we all go into the same thing, we're the good side. Well, tonight, everyone was agreed. Man of the match, Garden Jenkins. Well done, mate. If I can turn to... Uh... Thank you very much. You were a good captain, Stuart, and I love you a bit. <laughs>
If I, uh, in amongst all the bedlam here, if I can come to this, Paul Moriarty. Paul, it was a tense few moments at the end, but the boys came home for you. It was, Stuart. I always, uh, I always had this nasty thought in the back of my mind that maybe they were going to come the length of the field, just like Cardiff did to us on the weekend. But uh, all you be sat in that little room there now, I don't know what excuse you're going to come up with tonight because we've had Newport come here, we've had Cardiff come here, we've had Newt come here, and we've sent them away as losers. And they can't all be bad teams and all turn up bad teams that, uh, on that day. It's been a tough season for you. There's a few emotions come, come to the surface tonight. It's been a, it's been a hard season for you. But you, you've seen the guys, the true spirit of the Swansea boys tonight, I think. Oh, that's been a difficult season. But as I say, you know, the boys have all dug in and they've all worked hard and they only get out what they put in. Congratulations, Paul. Tremendous effort tonight. Cheers, Thanks for joining us. Swansea winning at home against Neath. You'd think they'd won everything going. Neath, of course, have now lost the Welsh Scottish title. And Neath losing here at St Helens means that either Llanetli or Cardiff or Newport can win the title. Let's go and find out how two of those clubs have got on tonight with Graham in Cardiff. <laughs>